Houston with the Real Estate Radio. Shanna Register. And I'm James Brown. And we're your voice for Texas real estate news and information you can use. We're coming to you from the RREA.com studio over in Spring, Texas. You can join us here every Sunday from 2 to 3 p.m. for all the latest news and information you can use when it comes to real estate. We're going to continue our program and I'd like to talk to some representatives from Habitat for Humanity that we have here in the studio. We have Linda Nielsen, who's the president of Habitat for Humanity and the chair of the Family Selection Committee. Uh, Kenneth Kynard, who is the Restore Development Manager, and Soleil Watt, who is the Executive Director for Habitat for Humanity. So go ahead and tell us your mission. I know a lot of people have heard of Habitat for Humanity, but they may not know exactly uh, what the mission is and, and how, um, how they can be a part of the organization. The uh, mission of Habitat for Humanity is to provide safe, decent, affordable housing for families in need, and um, we do so in partnership with the community and our families. And how do you uh, go through the selection process and find these families? Actually, the families seem to find us. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's amazing to me how many people will ask about how to qualify for a Habitat home. Um, for our affiliate, the first thing they have to do is come to what we call an orientation meeting, which gives them the opportunity to really learn about the program, learn what they're going to have to do to qualify, what kind of documentation we need, all that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And then we take an application, and we actually are qualifying them for a mortgage. So they have to be somewhat credit worthy and have some kind of income, is that right? They have to have some kind of stable income. Uh, but that does not mean necessarily that they have to be employed. They could be on disability or retirement or, you know, whatever sure. is providing them with, with their income. Um, we, unlike commercial mortgage companies, have a much lower credit score that we require. Mm -hmm. um, our, our applicants have to have a 500 or better credit score, okay. wow. which is probably 100 points or more lower than, <laughs> than a regular mortgage company yeah, that, would require. Yeah, that's low, but, uh, but it's great that this opportunity for them exists. So well, where, um, I know you're, you're talking about different qualifications for them, but what are they actually having to pay back? They have to pay back the mortgage, the interest, uh, they have to put in any kind of time in building the home? What exactly are they having to do? They are getting the home at cost. Okay. And they are getting a 20-year, 0% mortgage. Wow. So there is no interest whatsoever. And Okay, so Habitat's kind of incurring the interest on the loan. Is that right? Well, we're carrying the mortgages, but as long as we have wonderful donors who help us to, to build our homes, we're okay in that front. Mm -hmm. We're not paying money for them um, in terms of interest or anything like that. The families also put in 350 hours minimum of sweat equity, which means they help to build their home and their neighbors' homes. So, and, and that's a really critical part of it. Part of that helps them to get to know their neighbors. Mm -hmm. uh, part of that helps them to understand how their house went together. Mm -hmm. And believe me, our homeowners are tremendously proud of the fact that they do that. And you'll hear them all the time go, well, I laid that tile floor. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a really wonderful thing. It sounds like a lot of work, and I think it intimidates people at the mm -hmm. beginning. But um, we make it very doable, and our construction volunteers are so incredible in training folks because we kind of joke that we have to start from scratch. Every weekend we get brand new volunteers, and you have to show them all how to pound a nail or Well, I was paint just kind of thinking I wouldn't know where to begin if I had to lay a tile floor. So, <laughs> Well, we can show you. <laughs> okay. How many, how many homes are you building on a, on a yearly basis? Right now we are building 12. Um, 12 annually and that's because we're we're strictly volunteer driven we have very few paid staff and mm -hmm. so it, you can't really manage many more than that plus we were uh, on a pretty aggressive build schedule for the last couple of years and we're letting our volunteers relax and take a deep breath mm -hmm. before we overwork them again <laughs> i understand that. how what's the what's the largest number of homes we've built in the area uh well we are in a year we in a year mm -hmm. Or I assume that's how you are. You are you looking at it on a yearly basis? Or? Well, we have 
been in existence since 1989, and we just raised walls on our 200th house. Wow. Um, so it's slow getting started uh, for any affiliate. The first couple of years, I don't think they built any houses at all. They were just getting ready. Mm -hmm. uh, but after that, I would say our maximum number in any one year was probably 18. Mm. And mm -hmm. with all volunteers, that's a lot of work. That's a, a lot of work. And you're not just building house by house. You're really building a community, a neighborhood. That's correct. That's what we've been doing. Yeah, which I think there. I think a lot of people think you are just building a, a random house here and a random house there, but it, it really is a community that you're building. So, very neat. So, two hundred, uh, kind of your two hundred home anniversary coming up. That's exciting. It is. It is. It's a. It's a major milestone and one that we're very proud of. Yeah, that's fantastic. And your volunteer staff. I mean, it, your volunteers just fluctuate. Is that right? I mean, you, you have so many volunteers because I know there are churches who will volunteer one week in here, one week in there. I mean, so it seems like you have a lot of volunteers coming from a lot of different directions. We really do. We have a lot of great support in the community, everything from uh, faith-based organizations to corporations, NCL groups, individuals, father and son, Boy Scouts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So Ken, tell us about uh, the, our, the Restore. What the ReStore is, it's um, we offer new and used home improvement items at a very discounted rate. Um, some of those items can include um, anything from a refrigerator to dishwasher to brick and lumber. We have a lot of reclaimed hardwood flooring. That's a very popular item. We recently received um, a large donation of very high-end lighting. Um, and the reason that we can um, offer all these such discounted rates is because a lot of our material is donated from either contractors or local businesses um, and anybody can go into the store and purchase the store is products? open to the public um, we're open from Wednesday through Saturday 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and where are y'all located we are at the corner of Grant and Jones Road the physical address is 13350 Jones Road so if somebody's getting ready to do uh, kind of a, a remodel project kind of a do-it-yourselfer they could go over there and find some of their supplies that's right um, a lot of our customers are do-it-yourselfers um, because a, a lot of items are donated um, our inventory is constantly changing so mm -hmm. it's almost like a treasure hunt when you come in there <laughs> never know what you're gonna find that's huh? exactly right <laughs> Now, you uh, mentioned that you accept, uh, most of your donations come from builders. Do you accept donations from just anybody who might be remodeling and, and taking out their old ceiling fans? Or Right. A, a lot of our stuff comes from people who just happen to be switching out their dishwasher or they're remodeling their kitchen and they have nice cabinets, but they just wanted something different. So mm -hmm. those items will end up in the restore. That's right. It's fantastic that you offer that. And so let's say um, someone bought a lot and it has a home on an older home and they want to just completely tear it down and, and build a new home. Is that something that you can come in and, and help them do or do they have to deconstruct it and bring it to you? How does that process work? Both of them. Um, we will accept donations for people that bring them in, but we also do have a full-blown deconstruction project. So you can go in and just... That's right. Do we, it for we, them. <laughs> we, we offer four different levels of deconstruction, anything okay. from going into a home and cherry picking very select items to all the way to leaving you with a dirt lot. Um, wow, that's fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. So tell us about some of your projects you have going on over uh, in Northwest Houston. Okay. Well, um, in January of this year, we or February of this year, we started construction in Hamill Crossing, which is yeah. at the corner of Ritchie Road and um, Champion Forest Drive. This neighborhood is going to consist of 46 homes and um, we, we hope to be done with it here in the next four years. So um, it's something we're very proud of. It's an ongoing project. I it mean, is, it is. Yeah, that's a lot to man and keep going. I mean, it's going to take several, many years, I guess, to finish it out, is that right? Exactly, and we have houses in different phases. So while we have um, recently closed on the fourth house in that neighborhood, we uh, we have several that are in the. We're raising walls tomorrow with Bank of America, and then we mm. have others that um, are getting close to to you know being finished. So we just have them at different stages. Who are some of your largest supporters? Oh my gosh, I don't I don't know that I could say just one, but you know one example uh, in the construction aspect, um, we've had a, a wonderful partnership with Bank of America. 
with um, different businesses in the community. A lot of our uh, churches in the community really, really have helped us uh, beyond leaps and bounds. So I don't know that I could say there's one that's bigger than the other because their constant support is mm-hmm. what makes what we do possible. So you've got a lot of big donations coming in, which is good. We do. Very we do. good. And um, do you have a way for people to volunteer, um, or I'm sorry, to donate to the organization? Is there a way they can go online and do that? Or if they wanted to donate or, or they wanted to get their church involved, how would they do that? Um, there's very many different ways. Um, people really go online and kind of get an idea of what they want to do or they can call our office and we look at donations anything from um, time to, to monetary donations and so it's what's what's fit for everyone uh, we, we'll accept the help no matter what it is mm-hmm. and so um, sometimes it might be that a family chooses to get involved they have a wonderful time and then a year later they decide that they want to give us a monetary donation or we have a a business who uh, rallies with other groups and Mm -hmm. and puts together a donation to to sponsor a house and we've even seen that happen with a church there's a a local church in the area that um, while they were getting to do uh, getting ready to do some renovations for their church they felt that they wanted to do something for somebody else first. And so Mm -hmm. they funded an entire house and did so by raising the money with folks from their congregation. Some came from businesses, some came from individuals. So there's a lot of different aspects that folks can get involved. And Mm -hmm. if if there's a family out there who wants to uh, be a Habitat family, how um, how can they be added to the selection? All they need to do is call our office, 281-477-0460, and we will be happy to put their name on the mailing list. We have not set up our orientation for next year, but that's about to happen, and (laughs) I'm working on it now. So we'll be ready to send out that letter as soon as we get a location, and all they have to do then is come. Or they can log on to the website, and that information will also be posted there. And that's the habitatnwhc.org website, is that correct? Okay. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in for another edition of Houston Real Estate Radio. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsor.